What's up, everybody? I'm Dash. I'm Don. And this is our YouTube channel, Dallas Flippin'. And today is Wednesday, January the 9th. February. February the 9th. Wow. <laughs> I'm uh, very good at reading the calendar from over here. Um, and today, this is our all video. Um, bear with me. I just got off of a podcast. So, um, yeah, we got some stuff from the thrift store today. We're going to talk about it. Yeah. What did we get? I don't know. All right, so first thing here, the most important thing that we got all day. <laughs> I didn't know you got it. Huh? I didn't know you got it until you were checking out. Um, it's a cap gun. It doesn't work completely well. Oh, it's got hair in it. What well, she used to ask me in the store earlier is, oh, are those pubes? I don't know. They look kind of looks like it. He's laughing because it's a real scenario for me. You want to tell him about the vase or whatever? You tricked me into touching. It was a conch shell that was painted. Conch shell. So she tricked me into touching and she was like, look at that. What's that? And I touch it. And she's like, are those pubes? And I'm like. <laughs> it's what it looks like. I collect cap guns. Um, this is pre-80s because it has an orange tip. Or post-80s. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a pony boy gun. It's a Tootsie toy, actually, Pony pony Boy Gun. So this is like right around early 90s, late 80s. It works pretty good. I'm going to put some caps in it later and shoot it. Or I guess pop the cap. Awesome little pickup for $2. Merry Christmas. It's I February. To According to you, it's only January. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Um, another $2 bag here. We got this one doll who really needs um, love. Is it a Winx Club? 2012 Mattel. Oh. She has a, it looks like a Winx Club mark on the back, but her legs are bent back and she uh, needs hair plugs badly. I don't know what she is. It looks like it could be from the Winx Club. Her arms don't move at all. That's terrible. I don't know. That child was so weird. Rainbow Viacom 2012. I don't know. It could be Winx Club. That's what I'm thinking. That is the Winx Club. Winx Club was good. Uh, I forgot Clover. I don't know what her name is. Doesn't matter. She's going to go in the trash. This, on the other hand, is a Monster High doll. Oh, she's got a brooch on. It's drop. Ooh. Some, she's uh, dropping some brooch bombs or something. It's Draculaura. Um, 2015 Mattel. She's got a serial number. Um, I know it's Dracula because she's got vampire teeth and a heart. I have this one from the other day. Who's also Dracula who has multicolored pink and black hair with a heart on her face. So, cool, cool. Go in our Monster High death pile. Uh, this is a Peanuts toy from a year, 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 year. 2019 Peanuts. It's Snoopy on the, like, the moon rover. It's in the package. It may be worth something. It may not. So I guess we'll see. We got a few VHS tapes. Would you like to talk about the horror ones? Or not. In Tarnation. Okay, well, you talk about that one and I'll talk about the rest of them. Oh, great. Look, it's The Shining. It was 80 cents and it sells for about $16 pre owned. It's a good movie. So. Make sure it's fun. It is. It's got infections. It's definitely been pre-owned. It says horror on the top. <laughs> Need some goo gone. I like how he's like. Argh. Before he says, "Here's Johnny." Argh. Did you know that movie's actually based? It's a Stanley Kubrick film. That's the guy who filmed the Moon Landing. Well, it's a Stephen King book. But it's a Stanley Kubrick film. That's the guy who filmed the Moon Landing. Because it was fake. Anyways, um, I got a Mark Hamill movie called The Giver, not MacGyver. Part human, part alien, pure superpower. It looks like some bad Goonies. Yeah. Ooh. Part of it broke. Uh -oh. okay. uh, it's a 1991 movie. It looks very damaged and or loved right here, but it was about... $18. So for 80 cents, can't go wrong. I got Guns N' Roses 
Your Illusion number one, World Tour 1992 in Tokyo. It's a 20 something dollar VHS tape of Guns N' Roses. I don't know why you would want to watch a VHS of a concert, but I don't care because for 80 cents, why not? Now this one is a cool one. I love sealed VHS. We got another sealed VHS? We did. Okay, so we got an extra one I didn't think, I didn't notice. This one was $5.99, the super sale at Warner Nation, but this is $2.88. This is $5.99. What's the truth, Brenda? Um, it's Rod Stewart, 1984, Concert Classics. Um, it's sealed in the packaging. It does say 2 dollars and then it says $5.99, so I don't know. Um, I looked it up, sealed. There was none sealed, but open. I think they were $15, so corner of the market. Now, this one is a Keanu Reeves movie called Speed. It says it was previously viewed for $6.99. So it is a resealed VHS. I didn't know that. Previously viewed. How rude. How rude indeed. What does it say? Warning. You must purchase this video. So this has been resealed. I didn't know that until now. So that should affect the value. Yeah. Uh, it says something on the back like, Why'd you or some? Why'd you buy it? <laughs> it's W Y D U. Like why'd you? Why'd you? Why'd you buy it? I don't. I didn't know that until now that it was previously viewed. I just saw that it was sealed. Oh well, mm -hmm. it was about fourteen bucks. Twelve dollars. I don't know. I didn't know. You Doesn't did. matter now. Yeah, but then I can't take this off because it's sealed in there. Yeah, but maybe it's kind of like that sometimes. I don't think so. So this is an interesting thing that I found. It said, it looks like a weird looking monster hat. And it says here, Kelly Toy, all materials, polyester, Los Angeles, California, IA. Um, it's a, what are they called? My Pet Monster Hat. It doesn't have a date on it. It doesn't have any soul comps. I'm gonna say it's like new with tags because it has the little thing up here, the little hang tag. Um, there are no My Pet Monsters that look like this, but I do more research. I paid $4 for it, um, and I didn't find anything else on eBay or online at all about it, so hopefully it's worth $20 million. Don't want to go through that. Yeah, well. My lovely lady here found this. You want to talk about it? Well, what do you know? It's a Sega Genesis controller. Open it. I did check some of the buttons all the way in there to make sure they didn't like feel broken. Or stick. Yeah. Very, very tough. Of course. <laughs> Stop. Look. You're good. Show it to him. It needs to be clean. Well, yeah. Oh, it's, that was the one that was sitting out. It was like $10 and they just, instead of... Look. Yeah. Two dollars. It was 1010 and no one bought it for 1010, so they put it in a bag for 292 and we bought it. It's been sitting out for about two, three months. Score. Score. All right, let's see what else we got here. Now, this one is really cool, not only because I like Toy Story, but it's a really weird item. Uh, it was 80 cents and it's a train, or it's part of a train. It's got the little alien um, from Pizza Planet. I guess you just called alien. Mm -hmm. Claw. Well, it was dumb looking, kind of stupid in my opinion, but it says Disney Pixar on the bottom. 2006 Planet Toys. I mean, it gives a phone number, all rights reserved, made in China. <laughs> I looked it up, you know how much it was? Oh my God, I don't remember. It was $26 plus priority mail shipping. It doesn't weigh a pound, but $26 plus $12 shipping, that's, 38 bucks, $40 free ship. I did math, I know, it's crazy. Um, don't jinx it. It's kind of cool, try it. Uh, I don't know why anyone would want a Toy Story toy train, but it's got actual track, like wheels that go on a track, and it was 80 cents to turn it into th possibly 30 or $40. Like, why not? Is that all that's over? Okay. No. Oh, well, well, I bought some Legos, or there's a bag of stuff for $2. I 
I don't remember what this is. My mom actually got some stuff like this and her and my daughter were playing with it. And they stick together really well. I forgot what they're called. It's really weird. It's like these weird comb looking things and like they make things and they do things, but I don't know. I'm gonna throw it out. Uh, I got some Legos. That's a mega block. Um, I gotta clean these up for my little girl. She loves them. They're old Lego Duplos. They just say Duplo on them. They don't say Lego. Um, that's a Beyblade launcher from McDonald's. This is uh, Thunderous from Pokemon. I don't know if this is worth anything. Because he's thunder. It makes a noise. Butter. Thunderous. Uh, he's a... I don't know what year he's from. Does he have a date? 2018 Pokemon. Thunderous. If he's worth anything, I'm going to sell him. If not, well, you tried. This is also a McDonald's toy. It's a Hot Wheels. It's some kind of launching car that opens up like a frog. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Transformers, robots in disguise. Um, yeah, there's a few um, little Legos here. That's the only reason why I bought this. It's a happy face, unhappy face. Happy face, unhappy face. Uh, the rest of the stuff's going in the trash. But the last thing we have to show you is this, which I was advised by my sweetheart here not to buy. Or kind of given like the, uh, don't do that look. I paid seven dollars for it. It is a X15 Series 2 multi tracker Fostex. Um, it does not have the AV cord, which I just noticed. Ooh, the leads are bad. Ooh, it came off on me. It's very, very, very rusted in there. Um, but complete, they were selling for like three hundred dollars. Uh, 150 to 200 by themselves. I guess this is gonna go for parts. It looks like it was murdered. <laughs> um, but I've never seen anything like it. I know nothing about it. It's got a spot for a lanyard or something here. It's got all kinds of really cool outputs and channels for like guitar cables. And it's a mixer of some sort where it has like a microphone, remix. So, okay, those don't turn. Are those supposed to turn? Oh no, they move. Wow. Those turn. These move. Turn. Move. <laughs> it smells like a doctor's I office. Smell it. It smells electronical. Electronical doctor's office fire. <laughs> yeah. Um, the stop and pause buttons are no longer um stopping and pausing. Yeah, so is the record. It's it's not it's rusted the hell out. But um, for seven dollars, I figure I could get at least eight dollars out for parts. And if not, well, we'll throw it at someone out of a car window and break their nose. No. Lawyers, it was a joke. It's satire, okay? I'm not actually gonna throw anything from a moving vehicle. That's wrong. I know a place to report that. <laughs> That's litter. I guess that wouldn't work. <laughs> Text dot. <laughs> Don snitches on people. Don't litter in front of me. So get your license plate. I'll send you a package. I will. <laughs> but that's really it for us today. Um, kind of a, a bleak Wednesday. Having a good time? That doesn't work. It worked when I did it. <laughs> that not as forever stuff then? Oh, that's rusted too. Mm. That was a. I'm not saying it was a bad buy because I watched me sell it for a lot. Of, ooh, look at all the channel leads on that. Audio, video, audio, video, audio. Video. They're not rusted. Chunk this at your face. It is pretty heavy. Yeah. About five pounds? Yeah. Don't break your nose. And then some. Yes. Ooh. I heard that squeak and it just made me cringe. It was like, ah! oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So that's it for us today. Um, hope you have a good Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. Mm -mm. Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. And that's oh. enough of, did you drop it on your foot? No. 
please go to my links below, my eBay store, Instagram, and help a poor woman get a new foot. <laughs> and fingerlings, and um, oh, feed the hungry. She eventually will get hungry, and I need to feed her. So if you don't buy from eBay store, she's gonna die. <laughs> So, oh no. <laughs> thank you for your time. This video is not over. <laughs> Bye.